Well, welcome back uh, to the Kirizelana Cultural Village. Well, this is uh, where, of course, the funeral service for nine of the ten victims of the bus crash on the N1 near Winburg in the Free State. This is where the funeral service will be taking place for those ANC volunteers who died coming back from the launch of the ANC manifesto last week. And as you can see right here behind me, the place is really starting to fill up the families of the victims have also started arriving here. We're expecting the president of the country as well, President Jacob Zuma, and uh, the president of the ANC, of course, to uh, give tribute here as well and also to send messages of condolences. But let me just chat very quickly here to the chairperson of the ANC, Nukurleni. Thank you very much for your time. We know that you're extremely busy this morning. I'm Zwandile Masina. Of course, we're expecting quite a fitting tribute for these um, uh, comrades of yours who were described uh, earlier on this week as revolutionaries and who gave selflessly to the African National Congress. Yes, uh, today we are expecting the leadership of the ANC uh, to come and pay uh, the last respect uh, to our fallen heroes and heroines. As you know that we lost 10 of uh, our comrades uh, in a tragic accident in the Free State. We have uh, worked together with the Provincial uh, African National Congress as well as uh, we are in touch with the National Office to ensure that we are able to pay a fitting tribute to our comrades who are late. You are the chairperson of the Akuruleni region and you know you would know best, best describe who these um, uh, ANC volunteers are. You, know, you worked very closely with them. How would you describe their commitment to the African National Congress? Well, these are volunteers of the ANC who uh, had an unwavering support for our movement. They were very much committed to the cause. In fact, uh, just on the last day of the registration, I came here to visit this particular branch, Ward 6 in Eguruleni. I was very much touched with the level of commitment. When you go around, this is the home of the African National Congress. They are working tirelessly to ensure that the entire community uh, comes out in numbers to support the ANC. What we have committed as a regional leadership is that in their honor, we will ensure decisive victory of the African National Congress in Eguruleni come the 3rd of August, 2016. Quite fitting as well that they be buried right next to one of the SACP's stalwarts, Chris Hardy. Yes, uh, these are heroes and heroines. These were no ordinary men and women. They had gone there to hear for themselves from President Zuma what constitutes our offerings to South Africans. So we respect them in their honor. We thought that it would be important for us to give them a befitting funeral. You will see the arrangement that have been made by our, stru by our structure, having worked with everybody, and we've been assisted a great deal by South Africans of good hearts to make sure that we give them a final good send-off. Has there been any update at this point with regard to uh, you know, the police investigation into what really happened? Is there any further update? Well, we will be receiving a report on Monday so that we also can add our voice in terms of what needs to happen for now. Our focus and preoccupation is to ensure that we bury our comrades. Thank you very much uh, there to the uh, chairperson of the ANC's Urleli region, Mswantile Masena. We're saying that uh, they really want to pay tribute here today to uh, ANC volunteers whom he described as committed to the African National Congress. As you can see here behind me, many of the uh, dignitaries, the mourners, as well as uh, the family members are going to take their seats and uh, they will be buried at the Thomas Ngobi Memorial Site. Of course, you will know that's where the SACP stalwart Chris Hani was also buried and uh, we're expecting proceedings to get underway here very shortly. Some of the wreaths also that have been brought in here uh, to this tent here at the moment. We're also expecting the president of the country and president of the ANC to also arrive here just before 10 o'clock at the moment, together, of course, with other dignitaries, including premiers. Thank you so much there to Crisolda Lewis. In other news, U.S. President Barack Obama says the U.K. would be at the back of the queue for any trade agreement if voters decide to leave the European Union. His comments come as the president carries out a two-day visit to the U.K., which has involved lunch with the Queen. The President has long spoken of his admiration for the British Queen, and Her Majesty was the first port of call for President Obama and the First Lady. A private lunch at Windsor Castle, raising a toast to celebrate her 90th birthday. But the focus of this trip is the UK's future in Europe.